Hey coders and welcome to a brand new playlist on this channel. In this playlist we're going to be learning about the Python library known as Pandas. Now Pandas, if you're unfamiliar with it, is an extremely valuable and popular library for any data engineers, data scientists, or basically anybody who's coding in Python that uses data or that's handling data. Now I use this library basically every single day in my own work, so I'm finally able to uh, teach on it and I'm super excited about that. All right, for those who are unfamiliar with Pandas, it is a popular library for importing, cleaning, transforming, analyzing, and exporting tabular data within Python. Pandas is short for panel data, and that really emphasizes the tabular data aspect again. Now, what I mean by tabular data is any data that's coming in tables, basically. So you can think of this as, say, Excel files or CSV files or any data that is getting returned from a SQL database. All of this is tabular data. All right, so in this video, we're just going to be setting up our whole coding environment, getting everything installed, uh, and, and so that we can actually use Pandas in later videos. So we're going to learn first how to install Pandas using the pip3 command. Uh, we're also going to be importing it. And this last step is completely optional. You don't have to do it. Um, but I'm going to be using Jupyter Lab for this playlist. And you'll see why uh, in just a minute or so. Um, but again, if, if you want to follow along with this playlist, then you'll also need to pip install Jupyter Lab. All right, without any further ado, let's jump on in over to the code and get these things done. Let's say that you have a data set such as this one that you're trying to import into your Python project so that you can do some data analysis or whatever you want to do with this data, uh, but in your Python file. So before we jump into that Python file, let's just take a quick look at this data set which we'll be using for the next couple of episodes. Uh, it looks like we have a couple of records on specific students and on those students we have data uh, about their gender, their race, their parents' level of education, which college they went to, stuff like that. But more importantly, we also have their uh, standardized test scores for a specific test that they took, and looks like we have also their um, subscores for math, reading, and writing. So it'd be cool to maybe do some analysis to see, okay, does any of these variables right here predict their standardized test scores? And we can do that through Python. So how are we going to import this data into our Python file? Well, the best way, or at least the most popular way to do that is through the pandas library. So let's uh, install that first. Let's install before we import that. So you can see I have a project called pandas tutorial. I have a virtual environment set up. Here's that data uh, that we were just looking at. Um, and before we actually install pandas, I'm going to assume that you have Python installed on your laptop. And also you have um, a package installer such as pip uh, installed as well. Usually those come pre-installed whenever you buy a new laptop, uh, but make sure that you have those. All right, so I have Python 3 as well. Uh, so I'm gonna use pip3 to install pandas. All right, so again, I have my virtual environment activated. I'm going to install pandas using pip3. Uh, and if I hit enter, as you can see, I actually already have this installed. So it just says requirement already satisfied. But if you don't, it's gonna go ahead and install pandas for you. It should just take a uh, few seconds at most. Once you have pandas, it's good to see that it actually came through successfully. So after you install it, you can import it. And if you're going to use pandas, it's very customary to import pandas as PD. Uh, basically, everybody I knows who uses pandas always imports it as PD, and I would recommend that you do the same just for readability. All right, so let's save that. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to now run this file saying Python 3 episode py. And if I run this command, it's going to run this Python file. All right, so, oops, I needed to say episode zero because that's the name of this file right here. All right, so now if we didn't get any errors, that means that this file ran successfully and we have successfully imported pandas. 
All right, so there's one more thing if you recall from the slides, and that is I was going to show you guys how to install Jupyter Lab. And the motivation behind this is just that Jupyter Lab shows or presents the data a lot more cleaner. Let me show you what I mean by that. All right, so don't worry about this code too much. Um, we're going to look at this actually in the very next episode, but all this is doing is just basically reading in that CSV that we are looking at and then printing out that data. So let's see how this looks just in the terminal alone. If I run that same uh, Python program, here we go. So this is the same data, and as you can see, uh, you, it's kind of readable, right? I mean, you can see, okay, here's uh, record zero, uh, record one, uh, student ID, okay, but then you kind of have to scroll down to get uh, some more of the columns, and it's just not very clean in my opinion. In my opinion, uh, it's just basically text that's been printed out to the terminal, and uh, it's not very readable. So we're going to actually install Jupyter Lab and use that throughout the course of this playlist because Jupyter Lab um, presents the data a lot more cleaner. So I'm going to first say pip3 install. Again, this is totally optional. You can definitely run pandas on basic Python files by itself. But again, I'm going to be running it on Jupyter Notebooks. All right, so pip3 install. And then the, uh, the library is called Jupyter Lab. You can use Jupyter Notebook if you want as well, but I'm going to be using Jupyter Lab. All right, so again, I already have this installed on my uh, virtual environment, so all of this is going to be already satisfied. But if you don't, then it's going to go ahead and install it. It should only take, again, a couple seconds. And then once you have Jupyter Lab installed, you just need to type in the command Jupyter space lab, just like this. And then once you hit enter, then it's going to open up a new, uh, basically, server. Um, and it's going to have a new web page right here, front-facing UI, so that you can start making your Jupyter Notebook. So here we go. I'm going to click on this right here, Python 3. And now I can code in Python, just like this. Um, so I'm just going to re-import pandas as pd. I'm going to run that cell. Looks like everything ran successfully, so that's good. Then I'm going to come over here and grab this same code, run that, and then I'm going to display our data frame just like this. And if I run it, there we go. As you can see, this is a lot cleaner data um, right here. I can see it a lot better. Uh, we even have alternating uh, colors for the rows, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be using Jupyter Lab for the remainder. It's just a lot better uh, to demo with. And um, it's, it's, again, it's a lot easier to see all of the data that we have. Uh, at least it's a lot easier than what's displayed in this terminal here. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I can't wait to go into the very next episode with you where we're actually going to start getting into the meat of pandas. So I'll see you then.